After talking to a bunch of you guys over the past few months, I've realized that there is a problem and it's way bigger than I initially imagined it to be. So that's why in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the tutorial hell and the delusion that comes with it, as well as give you some tips that you can apply right now to get out of it as soon as possible. So let's begin. So what is the tutorial hell? If you clicked on this video, it's possible that you are already in one. Let me quickly define what the tutorial hell is in case if you are still confused if you are in one or not. Tutorial hell is a situation where you are in a constant endless loop of watching one coding tutorial after another. You might sometimes also follow along with these tutorials and create a few projects but you never end up building something of your own from scratch. If this sounds like you then keep on watching. Tutorial hell can come in various shapes and forms and here are the two types of people that I've noticed in the tutorial hell. Number one are the copy pasters. In this case, you are actively watching tutorials and coding along with them. You create a few projects and you might also end up adding them to your resumes but then wonder why you're not hearing back from recruiters. Well, that's because just like you, thousands of others who watch that tutorial might also create the same project and add them to their own resumes thus making you just like everyone else. Number two are the watchers. In this case, you're just watching these tutorials and not even writing the code, but you still end up having this false confidence or this false productivity that you're learning about something new. I'm pretty sure that most of you fall in either one of these categories. So you might be wondering, why is watching tutorials a bad thing? And it's not. I'm not trying to say that watching tutorials are bad. Most of the people when trying to learn something new, myself included, start with tutorials. But that's just the first level. The problem begins when you don't level up from there. The point of a tutorial is to give you a head start and a little bit of confidence so that you can go from there and explore that topic further yourself. But most of you are still stuck at level one, watching tutorials after tutorials where someone is dictating you the answers and you are just copying and pasting it into your own editors. After the tutorial ends, you have this instant gratification that you built something on your own and I'm using the phrase on your own very loosely here. The problem here is that you're not challenging your own problem solving abilities and your own skills because the solution is just handed out to you. And oftentimes, this also leads to you overestimating your own skills and then wondering why you couldn't perform well in that interview. You might believe that after watching that tutorial, you know that topic well. But imagine this, does watching a tutorial about flying a plane make you a pilot? No, right? So how do you level up from here and how do you get out of this tutorial hell? Let me tell you about the art of watching tutorials and walk you through my own framework of learning a new technology. So step one is to identify a technology that you want to learn. For example, let's say it's React.js. Make sure that you know the prerequisites well before jumping to React. So this includes being confident with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. If you skip learning these prerequisites, then you are in for a disaster because now you're not only learning React, but you're also learning HTML, CSS and JavaScript at the same time. You'll end up making it way too hard for yourself and then there is a higher probability of you quitting it too soon. Once you have your prerequisites in place and you've identified the technology you want to learn, the next step is to start with a beginner's tutorial. The point here is to get a higher level of understanding about the technology. So this includes things like what React is, what it is used for, how it compares to other alternatives out there in the market. The next step is to build your first Hello World project using that technology. Again, you can use a tutorial here. It's up to you if you want to watch a video tutorial or if you want to read an article. I personally would suggest reading because reading is something that you can truly do at your own pace. If you don't understand something well in that tutorial, you can go over it as many times as you want. Similarly, if you know something well, you can skim or skip over it completely. It's harder to go back and forth in a video or refer to topics that were pre previously introduced, once you have your Hello World project up and running, play around with it, tweak the code a little bit to get an idea about how things are working. The next step is to move on to the fundamentals or the basic building blocks and a few basic features of that technology. Again, you can make use of a tutorial series or you can learn from the documentation itself. Make sure that for everything new that you're learning, you're also implementing it in code and playing around with it. Once you're familiar with the fundamentals and your basics are clear, it's time for a project. 
At this point, you can choose to do a tutorial project first if you still don't feel a bit confident with the basics. However, if you're feeling confident and are up for a challenge, you can skip the tutorial project completely and start building something of your own from scratch. Building something from scratch is going to be an extremely hard and annoying process because now you're completely on your own. You're going to get stuck and you might even feel like giving up at times. You might also feel like going back to your old habits of watching a tutorial and getting it over with just to get that instant gratification. But trust me, building and breaking things by your own is where you learn the most. This is actually what builds your experience. When you keep repeating this process of landing into bugs, trying to look for solutions and then finally fixing that bug, this is what builds experience because now the next time you come across that same bug, now you not only know what's causing it but you also know how to fix it. The more you build and break, the better you get at it. However, it's possible that you get stuck at something and you're not able to figure it out yourself. This is a point where you can go and watch a tutorial and come back and apply the learnings from that tutorial into your own project. For example, let's say you are building an image sharing app and you want to implement infinite scroll in your application. If you don't have any clue on how to approach it, then you can go and search for a tutorial on how to implement infinite scroll in a React application and then apply it into your own project. The idea here is to solve isolated problems in your project and not to go and search for the entire project and copy the entire project. You search for solutions when you're stuck at something, but only after you've tried to solve it yourself. Now, these solutions can come from various resources like the documentation, from Stack Overflow answers, from AI or from YouTube tutorials. Make sure that before you mindlessly copy and paste the solution, you understand why it works. Always keep this in mind to create more than you consume. Keep on repeating this process of building projects and learning new things along the way. Don't be afraid of seeking help from others whenever you are stuck. And there you go. Hopefully by the end of this entire process, you will be a little bit more confident and have a more accurate estimation of your own skills. I hope you found this video helpful, but if you still have more questions, you can let me know in the comments box below. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.